All right, everybody, welcome to the Sophie Scholarship Evening. Please stand as our co-presidents of our senior class, Ben Gao and Nerman Shannon, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Thank, Thank you. Dad. Thank you, Nermit and Ben. Let's give them a round of applause for being our co-presidents this year. They've done an amazing job. It's such an honor to be here this evening as the new principal of Dreyfus School of the Arts. I've spent the last nine weeks getting to know our amazing students, and each day I am more blown away by their passion for their art, dedication to their academics, and they are simply the best. They are the best and brightest, and it is a pleasure to be here to be able to honor you with scholarships this evening as we send you out into your next journey. So how fortunate are we here at Dreyfus to have a foundation that supports us in every single thing we do? Our foundation spends countless hours raising funds so that we can offer every experience possible that is needed to be able to provide the world-class education that has led us to be the highest ranked high school in Palm Beach County, ranked number 12 in the state of Florida, and ranked number 109 in the entire nation. There isn't anything the foundation won't do to help us. They provide for world-renowned artists to come to our campus, make sure all of our academic needs are taken care of, provide supplies for our arts and academics, offer summer institutes, and so much more. On top of that, tonight they are here to honor you guys with the scholarships that the foundation works so hard to secure and be able to offer to our seniors each year. We are beyond appreciative of the support from our phenomenal foundation, and we could never find enough words to thank all of the members who do everything they do for us. At this time, it is my pleasure to welcome our executive director of SOFI. He has been a pleasure to work with the last few months and is doing so much to be able to provide our students in school with the outstanding opportunities that we have every single day on this campus. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Chris Snyder. Thank you, Thank you Ms. Bennett. Appreciate the, the warm welcome and Wow, it's so great to see you all here. How about a round of applause for you guys, yeah? So great to be in person, and despite my mask, I'll, I'll try to speak as loud as I can. Um, I'm our new, newish executive director, about in my fourth month now coming on, and um, it's just been such an honor and, and really a pleasure and privilege um, to get started and see all you all thrive and get to meet a few. I haven't had a chance to meet all of you, but. Um, I, I hope to before, uh, before you all head out this year. Um, but today, you know, is a special day. We're, we're pleased to, to award over $339,000 in scholarships tonight. And that's just from the foundation. That's not counting our other community partnerships and scholarships that we have, um, which, which we'll, we'll announce also. Um, but before we get started, I just wanted to offer you all a, a congratulations as you come up, um, we're going to have you um, come and get your certificate, um, followed by a very important scholarship letter. So make sure that you take that home, you read it, and you um, follow those directions so that your school can receive the award um, that you're receiving tonight. Um, and we're going to do it. We'll just keep it COVID free, so no handshakes. But um, we are live tonight, so we have some folks that are tuning in. I heard there's a couple watch parties. That sounds exciting. Anybody having, I heard one, someone had a watch party, but so hi to all you all out there in the watch parties. Um, and you know, we, we worked all year this year to raise these funds. These last three months, I have to thank John and, and Marna from our team, um, as well as Jean Grandusky, who've really been working hard to, um, uh, to, to help bring in the dollars for these scholarships. And um, it, it, it wouldn't have happened without all of the hard work from, from those in, in the front office. So thank you for that. Um, and, and this really 
this really is a joyous evening. Um, so I also wanted to offer my sincere thanks to our benefactors. Very, very generous over the years. You've helped us amass the largest amount of scholarships, I believe, um, that we've given out maybe in the history of the foundation. So it's it's very, very exciting evening for you all, but also for us in the foundation and, and to you all, the benefactors. We couldn't have done it without you all, so thank you very much. Um, just a couple housekeeping items before we get started. We're going to go through a lot of different scholarships, so bear with me. Um, please silence your cell phones so that we can just make sure that we, are as, uh, we keep the disruptions down. Um, as I mentioned, you'll enter the stairs over here, which is to my left. Come up in front of the podium. You'll get your certificate. You'll get your letter that you need to keep, and you need to follow those directions. Remember to get the funds and your scholarship. Make sure you take a picture. You can take off your mask for the photo, okay? So feel free, once you get over, to take a nice photo with your certificate. So before we get started with the foundation scholarships, we'd like to announce several community scholarships. Here with us tonight from the Palm Beach County Human Rights Council is Dan Hall. Dan will announce this year's recipient. If you want to come on up, Dan, um, this recipient will receive the Dan S. Hall Social Justice Award. Help me welcoming Dan Hall, everybody. And Dan, if you'd like to say a few words about the scholarship and, and the recipient, please. Uh, my name is Dan Hall. I'm the treasurer of the Palm Beach County Human Rights Council. We award uh, a, scholarship, a number of scholarships every year. And uh, I have the great privilege of awarding one to ECHO because of uh, the work that uh, her application was outstanding. And uh, we just want to thank you for being here and accepting it. And uh, here it is. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> so we'll have our picture yeah. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Echo. Congratulations. Wow. Awesome. So we have a couple more um, of our community scholarships, actually a few more. Um, the next group of scholarships I'd like to announce, and for these, I'll just ask you to stand up if you are one of the recipients for the foundation scholarships. We'll actually have you come up on stage. But for these, for the sake of time, we're just going to have you stand and be recognized where you are. Um, and for this, we're going to announce first uh, here the winners of the Kovner Foundation scholarships. And here's a little bit of information about um, the Kovner Scholarship. It's, it's really unique because they select students in their junior year and provide them with professional college counseling. And they're to not just the students, but also to the families. And that's up to $10,000 a year for four years of attendance at an accredited college or university in the US. To date, the foundation has awarded Dreyfus over $350,000. And uh, so you all should be very proud of yourself. Congratulations to the following Kovner Foundation scholarship recipients. And again, please stand. George Wu, David Liu, Ben Gao, Daniel Wang, Catherine Ong, Isabel, Isabella Ramirez, and Megan Shaw. Thank you all. Congratulations. And, and I understand you all have obviously, you already know you've received these, right? So congratulations on that. That's going to help add to probably some of the other awards you may, may, may be receiving. So congratulations on that. We also have several scholarship recipients from the Community Foundation for Palm Beach and Martin County. They award, I believe, over a million dollars every year in scholarships. And the following recipients, if you please stand, um, Alessandra Cardelli, <laughs> Aiden Taylor, Amanda Ferber, Drew Schechtman, Emma Ratchford, Catherine Ung, Sasha Bass, and Annabella Palucci. Congratulations to you all. 
You may be seated. Great job. And our next community scholarship is the City of Green Acres. I don't know, did anyone come from Green Acres? I didn't see anyone, but I want to make sure. Yes, okay, we have, would you like to come up? Is that a student you said? Oh, okay. So, well, that must be Alex then, because the awardee of the City of Green Acres Educational Scholarship is Alex Thomas, everyone. Sorry, you looked so professional with that tie. I thought maybe you were from the city of Green Acres. All right. <laughs> I can't see with the light. Uh, but congratulations, Alex. Great job. Great job. We also have two ROTC scholarships to announce. This year's recipient of the Air Force ROTC scholarship is Autumn Wong. Congratulations, Autumn. And this year's Army ROTC scholarship recipient is Nicholas Scalzo. Congratulations, Nicholas. Bravo. And now it's time for the Dreyfus School of the Arts Scholarship Award. So let's get started, everyone. It's, it's just, you know, it tickles me because we have incredible alumni, parents, and faculty who all give back to this school. And, and many of you will hear these scholarships firsthand tonight that have been established on these three groups, and that's alumni, parents, and faculty. You'll soon be alumni, and I hope you remember this evening. And when you have found success in whatever field you pursue, you will remember the students who will follow in your footsteps, who will also appreciate your encouragement and support. So don't forget where you came from, right? That's one of the old adages, right, that we hear people say. The first scholarship of the night is the Allison Schwartz Memorial Scholarship, and the very first recipients for these two annual scholarships are Valentina Gomez and Catherine Ong. So come on up. Now we're gonna go with the Foundation Scholarship, so you'll come up onto the stage, please. And as I mentioned, you'll come and get your certificate, your letter, and then snap for a photo. And, you know, as remember, just to head this way as I call your names. These scholarships were established by the family of Allison Schwartz in memory of Allison. She was a beloved 2008 Dreyfus graduate who majored in communications with an em emphasis in journalism. She was a compassionate, generous, witty person and would be honored that this scholarship will help other communication and journalism majors. It was made possible by an outpouring of donations from everyone who loved and admired Allison. And when she passed, it, they, I mean, they poured in thousands and thousands of dollars to help form this scholarship. Um, and again, these scholarships are available to communication art seniors who will be attending UF and or attending college to major in journalism or re related fields. So congratulations to you both. The next scholarship is the David Elevio Serrano Memorial Scholarship. And this year, the award goes to Sasha Bass. Congratulations, Sasha. Come on up. This scholarship was established by the Serrano family in memory of the very talented David Serrano, a class of 1995 visual graduate. So as you can see, that theme of alumni um, uh, keeps coming up in our, in our scholarships. Our next scholarship is the Duke Nelson Memorial Scholarship. And the recipient of this scholarship is Christopher Tuck. The Duke Nelson Memorial Scholarship was created in memory of 2014 Dreyfus graduate Duke Nelson. Duke used his talent in music and interest in photography and videography to become a music videographer. This scholarship encourages a senior to follow their innate passion for success outside of what is perceived as possible. Christopher, Christopher will be attending the University of the Arts in the fall, I believe. Is that correct, Christopher? Congratulations. <laughs> and next is the Mama Cristo Memorial Scholarship. The recipient of this scholarship is Krista Brochu. This $2,000 scholarship is established in memory of Marsha Cristo, who has touched the lives of thousands of Palm Beach County High School students. Marsha taught a, a varied and in-depth visual arts curriculum for almost three decades. 
She began her career as one of the original teachers in Palm Beach County's School of the Arts Magnet Program, and she retired from Dreyfus. Congratulations. And you'll keep hearing me saying our next scholarship is, it's nice that we, we can continue to say this, right? So the next coming up scholarship is the Leah Jefferson Community Service Scholarship. And the recipient is Nurbit Shandon. This, this scholarship was established to honor Ms. Leah Jefferson, a dear, dearly loved social studies teacher and sponsor of the Arts Club for which the Jefferson Jubilee is named. In memory of her dedication to Dreyfus, this scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated excellence of character and community service to Dreyfus and the community at large. Our next scholarship is the Ed Blanchett Technical Theater Scholarship. The Ed Blanchett Technical Theatership Scholarship was established several years ago by two grateful parents in honor of Dreyfus Technical Theater teacher, Edward Blanchett, who greatly influenced the path of two of their children into technical theater. This $2,500 scholarship is to be awarded to a college-bound senior who will be attending a BFA technical theater program, including technical direction, set, costume, lighting, or sound design, and stage management. It is especially emotional this year as the Dreyfus family mourns the recent passing of Mr. Blanchett. The next scholarship that we have, and, and we honor Mr. Blanchett, he spent many years here at Dreyfus, and um, it, this one really hits us hard this year because he was such a big part of the, the Dreyfus community. And um, our heart goes out to the, the Blanchett family who may, be, who may be watching tonight. Our next scholarship honors a former teacher as well, the Canoe Aspiring and Striving Scholarships. This year's recipients are Michelle Beeline of Dance, and Jason Roblero Theater. All right. And Miss Canoe also, we lost this year. She, she just, what a supporter over the years. She's, she retired several years ago, and when, after she retired, she taught here uh, English for 26 years. Uh, her family was determined to continue to keep this scholarship going. So these $1,000 scholarships each are awarded to students who have overcome a challenge or obstacle and have exhibited a deserving effort and have supported the community through service. Our next community, <clears throat> excuse me, our next scholarship is the Casa de Luz Scholarship. And this year's recipient is Merle Roberts. The Casa de la excuse me, the Casa de Luz Scholarship. Oh, my apologies. I just completely just skipped over a couple people. So for Ed Blanchett Technical Theater Scholarship, I'm sorry, Elena Serrano, please come on up, my apologies. I gotta stick to my script. And for the Canoe Aspiring and Striving Scholarships was Michelle Beeline and Jason Roblero. So I'm sorry for that mix up. Did I get us back correct? Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> and which one, I'm sorry? Roblero. Yeah, I, I know that was Merleve Roberts. I believe she did she come up already? Yes, and that was established by three alumni. So my apologies for the mix up there. Matthew Vihill, class of 2003, Edwin Clavejo, class of 2004, and Joseph Parker, class of 2006, in honor of retired film teacher and original dean of communications department, Dr. Ansel Deleuze. This is a $2,000 scholarship and it's awarded to an exceptional college-bound film or television student. So con congratulations, Merle Roberts, on, on earning that scholarship. I'm now back to the program. Our next scholarship is the Peter Stodelak Photography Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Drew Schechtman, and I believe he may not be here. Is... Okay. 
So this 1,000, and and Drew's working tonight, actually, um, this $1,500 scholarship is established in honor of the years Peter, affectionately known as Stowed, am I saying that right? Stowed, dedicated to teaching photography and digital media, as well as served as dean of the visual art and then the digital arts department at the Dreyfus School of the Arts. So we thank you, Peter, for your continued support. Our next scholarship is the Boyd Family Foundation Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Julia Ganello. And the fifth, this is a $1,500 scholarship through the Boyd Family Foundation. It's given in honor of retired magnet coordinator and original visual arts dean, Jane Grandusky. This is Jane right here, everybody. This scholarship is awarded to a deserving visual arts student. Thank you, Jane. And our next scholarship, congratulations, our next scholarship is the Constant Rudy Painting Award. This year's recipient is Kaylin Bryant. This $1,000 scholarship was established in honor of former Dreyfus painting teacher and Lake Worth Street Painting Board member, Connie Rudy. The scholarship is awarded to a visual arts senior who will be pursuing painting or art education at the college level. And again, that's the Constant Rudy Painting Award. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Three Sisters Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Merleave Roberts. All right. And the Three Sisters Scholarship was established through the Three Sisters Endowment Fund, begun by Rochelle Oliver Chang and Andrew Chang. This $1,000 scholarship is for a woman of color who is pursuing an arts degree in college or a conservatory. This scholarship was started to honor the legacy of three sisters whose success is greatly owed to the School of the Arts, its resources, its influence, and its teachers. Following their graduation from the School of the Arts, the Oliver sisters, Tiffany from the class of 99, Rochelle from the class of 02, and Morgan from the class of 15, continued pursuing their artistic passions. Their hope is that the young artists who apply to the scholarships have a lifelong passion for the arts and a deep desire to give back. This, re- this year's recipient, Merle Roberts, plans to major in screenwriting. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Dr. Howard Green Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Kayla Jagru. I hope I'm saying that right. Congratulations, Kayla. And this particular scholarship was established by a foundation board member. Thank you, Dr. Howard Green. He's a dermatologist here in our community in West Palm. In fact, I'm going to see him tomorrow with my little boy, Nicholas. And his daughter has actually attended Dreyfus. He's been giving this scholarship for many years to assist a wonderful student in pursuing their dreams of college attendance. That's great. Congratulations to Kayla. And our next scholarship is the Eileen Kleinert Memorial Scholarship. This year's recipient is Merle Roberts. May as well. Did she already go down? Stay up here. This award was created by Eileen's beloved husband, Eric Kleinart, and daughter, Brandy Kleinart Larson, a communications alumna, and honors the memory of Eileen Kleinart for her love of children, and for her years of volunteering at the School of the Arts. So thank you. That's our grouping of of the first group of scholarships. Our next group have been donated by Dreyfus patrons. Many folks in our community attend events and performances that all of you have put on over the last four years. They take tours of our school. You probably see us walking around with with folks, right, and getting in your way. Sorry about that, um, but it, it's important. And, um, and they just are in awe when we tour people around and they see you all, and they see you in the practice rooms, they see you performing, 
They see every department, and, and not just the, the arts, but the academics. It really just, they're blown away. So the next 22 scholarships were established by community members and friends of the Dreyfus School of the Arts in recognition of the students and the quality education students receive at the school. We'll start first with the Naomi and Ray West Scholarship in Nursing. This year's recipient is Jayla Cousins. This $30,000 scholarship, this is a big one. This is for the four years. It's spread over four years, was established um, by Mr. Alex Dreyfus in honor of Naomi and, Re and Way, Ress, uh, Way West. I'm sorry. Naomi was a, life, um, was a longtime nurse at local hospitals and was herself a recipient of a scholarship for nursing. Their hope is that this scholarship will provide a student with the financial support to complete a nursing degree and have the same passion for the nursing occupation as Naomi has had. Jayla will be attending Florida Atlantic University. Congratulations. And now the Anson Alum, Alumni Scholarship. This year's recipients are Ben Gao and Nermit Chandon. Congrats, fellas. This scholarship was selected by the principal, is awarded to a graduating senior who's been active in student government and will continue involvement in promoting alumni, alumni activities. We've got to see you guys. We need you for the alumni, right? This year's award will be shared by Ben and Nermit. Congratulations, guys. That's great. <laughs> our, next, our next scholarships um, are the Hall Art Artist Scholarship. And this year's recipients are Garfield Brown, or Geo I have here, Geo Brown, and Alex Thomas. Congratulations. These two scholarships for up to $10,000 for four years are being awarded this evening through a generous donation from the Hall Art Foundation to support Dreyfus students who want to pursue their talent in the arts. Each award will extend, their dura will extend for the duration of the student's undergraduate education and will be offered to two graduates each year. Congrats, guys. This is a, another great scholarship that we'll have here at the school for basically forever. Our next scholarship is the Marion Rosencrantz Dreyfus School of the Arts Music Scholarship. And we have two recipients. For vocal opera, we have Hope Sears. And for music strings, we have Annabelle Paolucci. The Marion Rosencrans Music Scholarships are given by Marion Rosencrans. She's a local patron of the arts. And I think she's out there at a watch party too. Our next scholarship, congrats to you both. Our next scholarship is the Jackson A. Goss Scholar Award. This year's recipients are Isabella Ramirez and Nermit Chandon. The Goss Scholarships were established in honor of local philanthropist Jack Goss and are awarded to college-bound seniors who are among the top 20 students of their class, who demonstrate the qualities of discipline, responsibility, and dedication. Congrats to you both. Another new family scholarship this year is the Audrey B. Halperin Memorial Scholarship. And this year, the scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Lamania. Or Lamena, sorry. This was established in memory of a beloved supporter, Audrey. Audrey delighted in attending the many Dreyfus school events and performances, whether it was PRISM, a dance program, or a music concert. Her smile and joy would radiate, being developed by the student performances, being enveloped, excuse me, by the student performances. Audrey especially loved seeing young people pursuing their passion and delighted in seeing them perform. She had the greatest admiration and respect for aspiring art artists because she understood the 200% commitment and hard work required to achieve one's passion and expertise. She understood how challenging it is to follow one's dreams as an artist and to make them a reality. She was a great lover of life. Again, she was a volunteer. She attended a lot of performances. Um, and we're just honored to, to offer this scholarship 
um, to those who are continuing their journey and pursuing a degree in dance or music at an accredited college's college, conservatory, or university. Our next scholarship is the Sylvia Greenberg Performing Arts Scholarship, and this year we have two $1,950 scholarships, and they're awarded to Echo Greenbaum and Kaylee Frost. Congratulations. And our next scholarship, trying to time this out so we, we keep it moving for you guys. So again, the, the Sylvia Greenberg Performing Arts Scholarship to Echo Greenbaum and Kaylee Frost, congratulations. And our next scholarship, the Cohen and Gervais Visual Arts Scholarship. I believe they're watching from the UK, or from London. This year's recipient is Natalia Sanchez. And this $5,000 scholarship, it was established by Gil Cohen and Paul Gervais to be awarded to an outstanding visual arts senior who will be majoring in art in college. And some of you may see Gil, he's a volunteer on campus, he's often walking around and um, I, I know he couldn't be with us tonight, and, and many of the scholarship awardees uh, couldn't. Um, but, but again, yeah, just so, so thankful for these great scholarship awards. Our next scholarship is the Silpy Family Visual Arts Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Morgan Jordan. <laughs> Am I saying that right, Morgan? Jordan? Okay. And this is a $2,500 visual arts scholarship established by the School of the Arts Foundation board member, Don Silpy, in honor of his wife, Linda's lifelong dedication to the visual arts. This scholarship is to be awarded to a college-bound senior who demonstrates artistic merit and will be studying visual art at a college level. And our next scholarship is the Bryna Prensky Visual Arts Scholarship. This year's recipient is Krista Brochu. All right. The scholarship's presented in memory of visual artist. Am I saying her name right? Berna? Berna Prensky to a promising visual arts student. Congratulations, Krista. Our next scholarship is the Raimundi Family Photography Scholarship. This year's recipients are Sasha Bass, who will receive a $20,000 scholarship, and Tay Walsh, who will receive a $5,000 scholarship. This scholarship was established by Peter Raimundi, a previous board member, and his wife, Chris, for students who are pursuing a career in photography or majoring in fine arts. And I know Peter's very excited for you both. Congratulations. I saw him recently. Um, our next scholarship is the Hope's Chance Dave Dave Scholarship. And there's two recipients of this award. There, uh, the first recipient is Luciano Cortez. And the second winner is Sasha Bass. Sasha, come on back. That worked out. <laughs> this scholarship was established by the Dave Dave Scholarship Fund. The scholarship offers two $1,000 scholarships and is inspired by our artist and author Dave Dave to remind students to believe in themselves and not to allow their struggles in life to define who they are. And I encourage you all, if you want to uh, Google something later or and you know, in the next few days, just type in Dave, Dave, and look at Dave, Dave's story, an incredible story of triumph, and one uh, that I think that you'll uh, find very inspiring. Our next scholarship is the Elaine and Marvin Mortis Scholarships. This year's recipients are Jade McKee, or McKee, and, and Tay Walsh.
And this scholarship is thanks to the generosity of a local art collector, Elaine Mortis. She's got a fabulous gallery here. Encourage you all to check it out. The Elaine and Marvin Mortis scholarship is awarded to a deserving visual artist who, illustrated, who illustrates great skill. They have a clear artist statement and plan to pursue visual arts in college. These scholarships were established by the Mortis family through donations received at their private collection, White Space. Again, another really great gallery that's really very close to school if you ever want to check it out. And our next scholarship is another Schwartz family scholarship. The recipient of this award is Aiden Taylor. And this $500 scholarship was created this year to be awarded to a student who has shown perseverance and dedication to their education at Dreyfus. And Aiden, I have to share a quick story that the, the, Allison's father um, saw your application and he decided to make another award um, because he found your application to be touching. So congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Jimmy Falzone Music Scholarship, and this year's recipient is Madison Yan. And this $1,000 scholarship was created to honor the memory of Jimmy Falzone. He was a music teacher, producer, and performer here in the Palm Beach area. While teaching, he inspired and encouraged his students, and he challenged those who had a musical gift. He brought joy, meaning, and purpose to music and music education the Jimmy Falzone Music Scholarship. Congratulations. And our next scholarship is the Dorothy Lappin Vocal Scholarship. And this year's recipient is Gabriella Pizzi. Am I saying that? Yeah, Pizzi. And this scholarship is in the amount of $2,000. It was established by the School of the Arts Foundation founding board member, Dorothy Lappin. It's given to a top female vocal student who will be a voice major in college. So that's great, voice major. Where are you going? UF, all right, congratulations. And we're moving along pretty well here. So just a few left. Our next scholarships, the Thomas and Effie Segaris Memorial Scholarship. The recipient is Garfield Brown. In 2002, Mr. Lex Segaris, excuse me, I, yes, Segaris, established the Thomas and Effie Segaris Memorial Scholarship in memory of his father, violinist Thomas Segaris, and his mother, Effie. This $2,500 award is given to a graduating senior continuing music studies in college. Congratulations to Garfield. And our next scholarship is the, yeah. Our next scholarship, the H. David Prensky Music Scholarship. And this year, the recipient is Aiden Taylor. The H. David Prensky Music Scholarship is made in memory of School of the Arts Foundation founding board member David Prensky. The award is presented to a music student who will continue to pursue music in college. And our next scholarship is the Simon Benson Offit Musical Theater Scholarship. And this year it will be awarded to Juliet Manners. Established by School of the Arts Foundation Board Chairman Simon Benson Offit, this musical theater scholarship is awarded to a college-bound senior from the theater department who will be pursuing their college degree in musical theater. Congratulations. And our next scholarship is the Allison B. Marks Memorial Scholarship. And this year's recipient is Jason Roblero. The scholarship was established by Allison's father, Stephen Marks, and this 
$1,250 scholarship is awarded to a deserving theater student who will be pursuing a degree in theater. Our next scholarship awards that we'll be announcing here will be um, uh, following right now will be our Kathy Kraut Lewis Community Service Scholarships. And this is actually the first year of the Kathy Kraut Lewis Community Service Scholarships. Each, these are kind of a surprise actually, um, and they were a surprise to us in, in honor and memory of Kathy Kraut Lewis. Um, the scholarships are, uh, there's 10 of them, and um, so I'll, ask, I'll announce you all, and if you could kind of come up, just make sure you kind of have some of your, some distance, because um, I'll have 10 of you, we'll, we'll do pictures. Um, but each of you is receiving a $10,000 scholarship. This is going to Dreyfus seniors who have given an extraordinary amount of volunteer service to our community and to our school. So please come up when I call your name. Sasha Haley Smith. <laughs> Sophia Zarazua. <laughs> Mackenzie Shea Moore. And I'm just going to pause for a moment to let us catch up. So I had announced Sasha Smith, Sophie Zarazua, and Mackenzie Moore. And a couple of these last scholarships have many names, so we'll try to do our best to pace it out. Also in this group is Morgan Jordan. Selena Len, <laughs> Catherine Ung, Megan Shaw, Clara Sullivan, Marielle Sabat. And the last in this grouping is Aiden Taylor. And I'm just going to pause for a second. I thought this would happen. We'd get a little, a little backed up. But um, again, this is through the Kathy Kraut Lewis Community Service Scholarships. And this is awarded to uh, Dreyfus seniors who've given an extraordinary amount of volunteer service to our community and to our school. I did it. I bottlenecked it. <laughs> so our next grouping, I'm, I'm going to get ready to announce, but um, I don't want to back it up too much because our next grouping will be 35 recipients. And this is our, our big famous Taubert Scholarship, the Beverly A. and William E. Taubert Scholarship Fund. And I'll tell you a little bit about it while we're waiting. This was established um, by the late Beverly Taubert. And Beverly was a retired educator and she wanted to provide deserving students with college scholarships. So after meeting Dreyfus social studies teacher, Tom West, she decided to leave her entire estate to the School of the Arts Foundation. So, you know, think about this. So this is a, a, a hardworking teacher who gave every penny of her life savings, basically, to a scholarship to help students every year at the Dreyfus School. Every year, the, the funds that she left will benefit. Um, thanks to the size of it. And this year, we'll, we'll be distributing $41,000 in scholarships in total. And this is, again, from the Talbert Scholarship Fund. So as I, as I call your names here in a moment, just make your way up to the stage. I'm going to probably pause a little bit longer between names um, <laughs> and, uh, and just do your best to keep your distancing, and we'll get your photo. And... Um, and then we'll have some closing remarks. So I'll start with one. Um, this year, um, 
in no particular order. And again, we have 35 names, so just bear with me. The first one's Garfield Brown. Our next is Guyberson Pierre. And you get loud, get loud, guys. Let's have some fun. We're, these are going to be our last ones of the night. Also, we have Catherine Mejides. Mejides. Also, Sar Sasha Vargas. Next up is Amanda Garcia. Also, Perry Hurd. <laughs> Sophia Zarzua. <laughs> also, Aiden Taylor. Echo Greenbaum. <laughs> Jonathan Estillian. So we can call up Christopher Tuck. <laughs> Sasha Bass. Also, Juliet Manners. And we have Brennan Gonzalez.
I'll call up Merle Roberts. Catherine Winslow. <laughs> Veronica Hanzenko. We also have Alex Thomas. And again, th these scholarships are the Beverly A. and William E. Talbert Scholarship Fund. And each year, we grant to, um, to around about 40 students. It's an incredible fund um, from the Talbert Scholarship. Next is Mackenzie Moore. So we're getting there. We've got a, got a dozen more here. Emma Ratchford. Luciano Cortez. Also, Mariah Perez. Great job. I said Mariah Perez, right? And Bryn Murray. And thank you all for being patient with us as we get through the photos. We want to make sure we capture these moments for you all. Jade McKee. Danielle Utter. Alessandra Cardelli. Need some like Grammy music in the background or something, right? Uh, Maya Bernstein. We have eight more to announce.
Go off. <laughs> Carol Ann Beck. <laughs> Next we have Kate Ramirez. Sabrina Diagnostino. And Lily Schoenwolf. <laughs> Lydia Valor. Megan Shaw. Emily Matusik. And I believe our last one for our Talbert scholarships is Jayla Cousins. How about a big round of applause for all of our Talbert Scholarship winners and Kathy Kraut-Lewis. There was a lot in there. Congrats. So again, congrats to you all. You guys are now, uh, well, you, you still have graduation, right? So you still have some work to do, I think. But you'll be the newest alumni class of Dreyfus. And um, as the new foundation director, it, it, it just it gets me excited to see, uh, to think about where you all will go and what your futures will hold. Um, you know, our foundation not only supports our students during high school, but we hope to share your accomplishments moving forward. We hope our investment in you tonight proves that we know you can go far. And we hope to hear from you down the road to let us know how you're doing and how these scholarships may have impacted you. You'll be added to our email list. So as you have your senior checkout day, we're excited to see you all and, um, and gather information so that we can stay connected. Please be sure to stay follow, uh, follow us on our Facebook that page is the handles at Dreyfus.alumni. We have a great alumni page where we're sharing things that we're doing. So we want to keep connected. So please stay in touch with us through our alumni events and other accolades. Um, and we really want to hear from you. I think, you know, um, we, many of you know Marna and John from our team in our office who really helped make it happen. Um, we want to hear you. We want you to call. Tell us what you're doing. Email us. We want to feature you in our newsletters. We want to celebrate your successes as you move on to this next stage. So just know that we're here to help promote your success, too, and we want to. Um, on the beha behalf of our board of directors and the staff of the Dreyfus School of the Arts Foundation, I congratulate you guys and wish you just the greatest success and happiness. I hope you're as proud of your accomplishments as we are. And I'd, I'd really, again, I'd like to especially thank our team, um, John Richards and Marna uh, Barney, 
um, as well as even Jane Grandusky, who is basically our CEO of scholarships. I would have not made it through without Jane and our team. Um, really have to thank you all. Also, a special thank you to Principal Blake Bennett since the very beginning. Um, yes. You all have seen her at class changes, right? And lunches, as I hear you say, on the, and that like sticks to me. And she's vis, you know, uh, visible, she's been a pleasure to work with, so it, it, I just look forward to just further success down the road. Um, also, couldn't have, have been done without, as many of you know, Olga Middleton, she was extremely helpful. <laughs> Along with Ms. Corey Ferreira, as you all know very well, right? Um, Jerry uh, Engstrom's been, thank you so much. Um, Ed Maniachi, Sarah Garcia, Allison Robert, who helped get this all going. Um, Leonard, our photographer, I don't know if I'm missing anyone. If I am, I thank you, I appreciate you. Our sponsors, our supporters, our families that are watching live, thank you for joining us. This wouldn't have been possible without you, bringing your children into the life, our sponsors, bringing the funds to help carry, carry on um, our students to the next stage. So we're, we're so very thankful to you all. Um, you know, as you can see, we have a very phen a phenomenal 2021 class, and this would not be possible without the, the generosity of those folks. So we thank you all, wish you a good night, and please drive safe. Uh, it's a little bit wet out there, I think, so no rushing out of here. Let's uh, let's take our time, but um, I'll be around if any of you have questions about anything and you'd like to talk. Otherwise, I'm in Building 9. I'm happy to answer any questions if, if you have to get out of here and have other obligations. Um, do not hesitate to reach out to us. You are now alumna, uh, uh, alumnus of, um, of, of Dreyfus, and we're, we're so, so uh, proud of you. So come see us, stay connected, and we'll be in touch.